senator at war with Buari pushes for Namdekanu's immediate release. The chief whip of the Senate, Senator Oji Kalu, has urged President Mohamed Buhari to grant immediate amnesty to the leader, Mazi Namdekanu, or be exposed. In a chat with our correspondent, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu said that he has gone beyond what people see today to lobby and push for the release of the IPOP leader, Mazin Namdekano. He said that he is sure that the move, which also involved the American diplomats, will rapidly enhance the release of Mazin Namdekano in no distant future. Recall that on Wednesday, September 15, 2021, the Southeast Caucus of the National Assembly had issued a press statement resolving to intervene in issues and detention of the IPOP leader Mazin Namdekano, Namdekano, who is currently in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS after he was abducted and extraordinarily renditioned to Nigeria with some other IPOP members, has suddenly attracted campaigns from various camps, calling on the Nigerian government to grant the IPOP leader an unconditional release from detention. The call was heightened by recent wanton killings and destruction of properties by some hoodlums and IPOP followers who were taking laws into their hands to enforce the seats at home order, ostensibly issued by the IPOP. In a statement personally signed by Oji Uzokalo on Tuesday, the senator representing Abia North Senatorial District in the National Assembly demanded that all arrested agitators should be released. Oji Uzokalo added that granting all detained agitators amnesty will show that the federal government is fair and that that will improve unity in the country. Senator Kalu, however, asked the government to give all detained IPOP members and Yoruba nation agitators the same treatment as repentant Boko people, insurgents, and bandits. He said, I pleaded with most of our elders in the north and in the southwest. We cannot continue to fight at all times, he said. I am still pleading with them and the federal government to intervene so that we can have a peaceful country. A lot of insurgents and bandits have been granted amnesty. I believe in the unity of this country and I believe this country is better off being in unity. So the best way we can get it is to make sure that IPOP and followers of Sunday Ibohu are granted amnesty. There is a need to call a roundtable even without the federal government. This is what the elders can do and give the federal government endorsement so we can have peace in our country. <laughs> Oji Uzokalo, what, what, what has now come over you to start uh, changing your mind in support of, uh, of IPOP? I'm so surprised. <laughs> Oju Zokalu can be this supporting. Okay. Um, let's be watching. I don't know if he has an eating agenda because the Oji Uzokalu that I know, I will tell you the humble truth, has always been speaking for his own benefit. Do you understand? If Oji Uzokalu tells you that. Let's do this thing together. Oji Uzokalo must have looked at that thing that he said that you both should do together. He must have looked at it and see how it will favor him the more than you. He's a small but wise, wise man. He's very smallish, but he's, very, he's full of sense. That is why he is able to extort so much. When he was a governor of Abia, if you are talking about the most extorted governor, the governor that extorted the, the states mostly is Oji Zokalo. He finished the states. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, if you decide to investigate his quick release from jail, you will see that it has to do with his alias. 
It is Ellis that went behind and got him released. If not, someone of that kind is not is still supposed to be in jail. Well, what you have just said is good. It's a good thing. You understand? It's a good thing. Nam the Kanu is not supposed to still be in jail. At all. It's not supposed to still be in jail. For no reason at all. It's not supposed to still be in jail. You see, we are in a very wicked country. A country that only thinks about itself. Look at. They are granting amnesty to the bandits. But the people who are not even bandits, who are only fighting for a nation, you are arresting and detaining them and not even thinking about, about granting them amnesty. But the ones who have been killing, kidnapping and demanding for ransom, you have been granting them release, you can see. These are the people that are supposed to remain in jail for life. These are the people that are supposed to be sentenced by life in prison. Even by hanging. You grant them amnesty, is that fair? That is why Nigeria can never be taken as a fair country. And I support that. I support it. Nigeria doesn't deserve to be a fair country because of the evil things we have been doing. It's not. At all. Because of the bad, bad things we have been doing. Well, Oh, Jose Carlo, I don't know what you are up to, but I believe that you are up to something. Yes, if you ask me, I know you are up to something. Because you don't just advise without getting something in return. <laughs> so, you are advising that IPOP should be granted amnesty. It's fine. I support that. IPOP is supposed to be granted amnesty. Do you understand? I really want to appreciate you anyway for this your sudden decision to support IPOP. This is what other of your governors, like your mates and Igbo leaders, supposed to have done. This is what they're supposed to have done. I pray they don't realize this very late. Because if they realize this late, they will pay dearly. They will pay dearly. Most especially Uzodima. Uzodima, most especially. Because I believe that he is the, uh, the bone, the bone of contention. He is the one engineering the other uh, uh, leaders. It is well. We are all here together. Okay. Just for the records, um, let me give you space to come in at least before I exhaust the old time in this very broadcast. Um, please, if you are new, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated. Each time we upload any new videos, please start ruling in your comments and opinion as they are all highly welcomed. Catch you next time.